paying $30 for Moon Animator 2 is one of the dumbest things you can do on Roblox right now. I know what I'm talking about, I got it back when it was completely free, and I've watched this whole mess unfold. For the casual animator, the person just trying to make a cool little scene for fun, that price tag is a total slap in the face. You're being asked to pay for a mountain of features you'll likely never touch, and the community is completely divided over it. So, before you even think about dropping that kind of cash, you need to hear why it's a massive waste of money. Let's rewind and look at how we even got here, because it's a wild ride. Moon Animator wasn't always this expensive headache. It started out as a passion project, a free plugin that revolutionized how we animate on Roblox. It was a gift to the community. And we loved it. Then, the first price tag appeared, 800 Robux. Okay, a little steep, but maybe justifiable for the work involved. People grumbled, but many paid. It was still the best tool around. But then, it jumped to 1,700 Robux. That's over $20. The community backlash was huge, but it didn't stop there. Now, it's completely paid with real money. It costs $30 for a Roblox plugin. That's more than many full, indie games on Steam combined. The progression from free, to a bit pricey, to outright absurd is just staggering. What does the $30 even get you? A whole lot of things you probably don't need. We're talking about simple features, camera movement, import and export rigs. These are cool, don't get me wrong. But are they $30 cool for someone who just wants to make their character do a little dance? Absolutely not. You're paying a premium for professional grade tools when you're just a hobbyist. It's like buying a Formula 1 car just to drive to the grocery store. It's complete overkill. The core animation features, the stuff that 99% of us actually use, haven't fundamentally changed that much since the older, cheaper versions. We supported the developer at 800 Robux. Many of us even gritted our teeth and supported them at 1700 Robux. But $30 crosses a line. It feels less like supporting a creator and more like funding a luxury, especially when the core platform, Roblox, is built on user-generated content and accessibility, and now the price feels like it's taking advantage of that position. It prices out an entire generation of new, young, or casual animators who just want to be creative without a $30 barrier to entry. This isn't about not wanting to pay, it's about the price being completely out of touch with the average Roblox user. So what's the alternative? Are you just stuck? Not at all. You have options, and frankly, they're better for your wallet. First, we have Blender still floating around out there. They might not have some useful features, but the bad thing is that it's complex to use, you need to set up bones, textures, lighting and more just for a simple animation. A quick search will point you in the right direction. So, now you know why paying the $30 is just plain dumb. But if you want to know exactly how to start animating today without wasting a single cent, click the video on your screen right now. I'll teach you the fundamentals to decide if Moon Animator 2 is worth it or not. Thanks for watching, and subscribe.